thought it was gothic vegan then it's only little old me and the big mouth right i'm just gonna kind of put it out there for you um old lazy bollocks couldn't be bothered to get her frame out um so when you see her video you'll see her backdrop the glittery shit that she has up but you see off the wallpaper and a picture where she just stuck it in the door mate she just stuck it over her bedroom door because she because she's tired and she could be able to get a proper frame out and all her equipment so this is a bit of a basic video yeah but you know we all have our off days yeah so give her a break yeah <laughs> Oh, the volume isn't up. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Gothic Vegan 05 here. Um, if you are new here and you're one of my new subscribers, um, hello, nice to meet you. Um, thank you so much. My numbers have shot up a little bit in the last few days. It's not much to anyone else, but to my 69 followers, I thank you very much. Um, today's video is going to be a mini Morrison's haul. Now, one of my subscribers, now I'm really sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, but as you know, if you've been watching my channel, I can't I can't pronounce names for shit. So it's either Rora or Rora. Um, I'm sorry if I've said your name wrong, but um, let's call her Rora for now, because it's Rora. I don't, I don't know, I'm sorry, but whoever you are, you lovely lady, um, you mentioned to me that Morrisons are now doing vegan mozzarella sticks, and I had to go and find them. Now, my Morrisons is quite small in comparison to the one over in Strood, so that's where we went tonight to get some little bits, and we found the mozzarella sticks. So, let's start with them. Now, I have eaten some. <laughs> Um, and these are eight no mozzarella sticks and these are made from a coconut oil alternative to mozzarella in a crisp crumb these are vegan and gluten free I'll get one that these taste amazing I love them I had four with my dinner but they're these little little things here I don't know if you can see those properly there you go they're covered in breadcrumbs um, they take 10 minutes in the oven on gas mark six and they are amazing so thank you very much for letting me know about those um, I bought two packs and let's just see how much they were um, £2.50 so I paid £5 for two packs which I don't think is, very, is bad at all because four of those filled me up I did have other things um, but let's not talk about that but yeah I had four of those and they were delicious so thank you so much and that gave me the inspiration for this video so I do, it's only a mini haul, I'm sure you'll be pleased to hear everyone. So it's just this bag of goodies, this lovely little sloth. Okay, so if I go through the stuff that I would normally get, so I always go for the Coco Shreddies, vegan, forever vegan. So apparently Shreddies have always been vegan, I didn't know that, and I certainly didn't think the chocolate ones would be vegan, but they are. So I picked up a pack of those, and they were £2. Uh, the next thing I got to go with the shreddies, because um, I just love chocolate, Alpro have bought out a new dark chocolate flavoured almond milk, um, so I picked up one of those, sorry I've got to cover my ring light here, um, so yeah this is the dark chocolate one, and I'll just check how much that was, Alpro, 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 uh, £1.60, and I have had... Uh, I had this last week, but I didn't show it to you. So um, this is delicious with cereal. It's lovely, especially chocolate cereal. It's very, very nice. Okay, and the next thing I picked up, um, I always have um, hippies, but I always have the salt and vinegar flavour because it's really difficult to find salt and vinegar flavour if you're a vegan because most of them have milk in. So I do normally pick up these hippies and salt and vinegar, but today I got the Take It Cheesy flavour and they're probably going to taste like Wopsits. Um, I'm not going to open them. I'm not going to open anything today because I've just eaten my dinner and I will feel sick. Um, so yes, I got those and they were a pound, I think. Let's just double check. Hippies. Oh, £1.75. But they are quite expensive and I probably, to be fair, would eat the whole pack in one sitting. But I am trying my hardest to go on a diet. Um, it's not working. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to try and limit myself to like a quarter of the pack at a time. But I'm looking forward to trying those. And um, the next thing, now I'm sure, 
I read all the ingredients on these and I can't see anything on them that would not make them vegan. And um, Belvita, most of the flavours are vegan. Um, so I picked up the Soft Bakes Blueberry Whole Grains. Now, I can't see anything, as I say, that tells me these aren't vegan. If anybody knows any different, um, I did try to use my vegan scanner app, um, but it didn't work. It never seems to work in Morrison's. Um, so if anyone does know any different and these aren't vegan, please tell me pretty soon because I'm going to eat them. I won't eat them tomorrow, um, but yeah, I do want to eat them because I love blueberry flavoured anything. So these are the Belvita Breakfast Soft Bakes and these were £2.95. They are quite expensive, but I've, I've never tried these before. So, and then you get five in a pack. They're supposed to fill you up. Okay, let's have a look. I'm just going to grab it as we go for otherwise I'll be here forever trying to separate everything. And next thing I got was the Morrison's own vegan range, so V-Taste, and this is a sweet potato katsu curry and sticky rice. Now this is what I had for dinner because I bought two of these again. Uh, this was £2.50 um, and I had this with the mozzarella sticks and some garlic bread. Um, but yeah, so this is a sweet potato katsu curry and sticky rice. And this is really, really good. So you take, oops. So these are sweet potatoes covered in breadcrumbs. You take those out and pop them in the oven on gas mark six for 15 minutes. And there's a little sachet of cat, little sachet of katsu curry sauce in there. So you take that out, open it up, and um, empty into where this was. So you put the rice and the sauce in the microwave for four minutes. And then once the sweet potatoes are done, chuck it all together, Bob your uncle. There you have a vegan katsu curry and it is absolutely delicious this isn't normally in my morrison's i've never had this one before and it was mwah, wonderful beautiful lovely okay the next thing is a staple for me i had this on a saturday or sunday morning i have a uh, linda mccartney's vegetarian red onion and rosemary sausages these are suitable for vegans and for two sausages these are only 132 calories these are in my honest opinion the best sausages to eat if you are vegan these are normally on offer also for a pound and you get six they're excuse me they're really really good and the reason why i'm burping <laughs> is because i found a bloody decent vegan red wine for three quid it's all gone And this is um, Copper Beach. And it does say on the back here, uh, suitable for vegetarians and vegans, and it's three pounds. And it's not sharp, it's not bitter, it doesn't make you wanna heave when you drink it. Um, fruity red, best red wine I've tried being a vegan. Sorry, I have to keep coming up. with a shave my nostril hairs off, so it's fine. Thanks for that bit of information. Uh, next thing, this is bloody delicious. Now this is Linda McCartney's again. And this is uh, the vegetarian beef roast with red wine and shallot glaze. I cooked this for my sister and brothers and my mum um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I said I was going to go around and cook them all a roast. And they thought I was going to cook them a normal roast, I'm sure. But I cooked them a vegan roast. My brother Steve did take the uh, mick out of me and said it was disgusting. But he actually ate it all with no complaints. Um, yep, yeah, this is obviously suitable for vegans. This is high in protein and high in fibre. And it's outrageously succulent, apparently. So, sorry about this ring light. But that's that. that is absolutely delicious. And I think uh, this, it serves for... And it, it served five actually. Um, and how long does it take? Yeah, you put it on gas mark six or 200 degrees Fahrenheit and put place roast in foil on a preheated oven rack and cook for 45 to 50 minutes. So, while you're doing your spuds and your veg and everything like that, if you're making your own Yorkshire puddings, that would seem like no time at all. And how much was this? Linda McCartney roast £2.50. Feeds a family of four for £2.50. 
I do seem to have a lot of Linda McCartney stuff today. Um, I also picked up the um, vegan sausage rolls by Linda McCartney. These are delicious. Not sure if I prefer these or Greg's, but these are lovely. And these were £1.93. So that is really good. And these are deliciously comforting. We are nearly done. Okay. Now, when I went to um, the vegan um, festival, I saw these on one of the little stalls. And I never thought I'd be able to buy them in Blooming Morrison's. But these are Snow Light Coconut Ice. And these are the Dairy Free Raspberry Ice Bites. They are just like coconut ice, but they taste better, in my honest opinion. They are absolutely moorish. And I'm glad they come in a small pack, because I did buy them in a bigger pack. That was me. I was trying to scare her. <clears throat> Ignore that. Now, I did buy them in a bigger pack, um, but I ate them all. So it says with no other ingredients. I think I found that funny last time. Um, I showed these, but these are vegetarian and vegan, they're dairy free, no hydrogenated fats, no artificial colours or flavours, no artificial preservatives and they are gluten free. They are lovely, really really recommend them and they were raspberry bites, I've just got to see how much these are, oh it's boo, where are they, I'm sorry. One pound fifty each. It's worth it, trust me. If you just want that sweet kick, um, that's better than chocolate. It really is. How's it ever a bloody food haul if you ain't gonna try something? I can't eat any, I'll be sick. Fucking liar. She sucks my face. These are good. Uh, and then on the same theme as sweets, I got the sugar-free, gelatin-free and gluten-free, no artificial colour or flavours, gummy bears. Um, I really miss things like jelly beans and uh, wine gums. Um, so these, I haven't had these before, but they seemed like a good alternative. So, and I'll just see how much these were. Do, 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 do. Perhaps I should start circling things. <laughs> Sorry, I dropped off there. It's a bit boring that bit. I can't find them. I can't find them. I think they're probably about £1.50 as well. Gummy bears bouncing here and there and everywhere. That I lost. Oh wow, what's this? What's this? Siamese twins, mate. Uh, next thing is just my standard Vitalite dairy free butter. This was 97p, best butter in my opinion. Um, a lot of vegan butters don't melt on hot toast and stuff, but this does if you spread it really quickly. <laughs> so that's that, and then a couple more bits. And this is also the Linda McCartney's uh, wonderfully tasty vegetarian pulled chicken. Now, I've never had this before. But I think this will be good for stir fries. So I'm going to try this out. And this is suitable for vegans, low saturated fat and high protein. So it says on here, great in curries or with pasta. Um, see lindamccartneyfoods.co.uk for full recipe ideas. It does feel a bit weird, but it's just like, yeah, it's like pulled pork, but it's pulled chicken. Fake pulled chicken. Okay, and then the last thing 
I got myself a little bamboo lunch box. This was three pounds. Um, I have seen these um, in the Avon book. Um, if you can't get out to a Morrison's, um, but I think they're about six pounds on there. So it comes with this little rubber bit on here, obviously to keep it closed properly. It's just got a little pineapple on there. It says "Hello, lovely." And then yeah, it's just a standard lunch box. But it's made of bamboo. So I remember that was three pounds because I thought that was like half the price of the Avon one. So <laughs> I'll probably get used to putting that on later. So yes, that was my mini little Morrison haul. Um, sorry if it wasn't very exciting. Um, but I hope I've given you some good tips. Um, and there's always something that you can find in a supermarket that's vegan it's not hard it's just bloody expensive if you buy the branded stuff so that's it for me today love you